a bit more. Oh. Just got myself a large coffee. The big nose, what's the big news? Well, it's basically, I may or may not. Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. So if you haven't joined me before, my name's Sam, also known as Truck It Pro. So we're gonna get straight into the video today. We've got a special announcement. So if you have been watching my videos for a while, you're gonna to wanna to stick around for that. So yeah. Let's go, let's do this. Right, so we are on our way guys. We're just heading off the A13 onto the... I can't remember what the name of the bloody road is now. There we go. A282. In other words, the M25, but the Dartford crossing part. So yeah, just about to come up to the Dartford Bridge. Uh, excuse the mess of the hair today. I've run out of gel. Gel, wax, whatever you want to call it. Uh, oh. So, just stopping quickly for a wee, because I am busting. Never been to the services before, so I have no idea where I'm going. Um, car park, fuel, coaches, and HUV parking. There we go. <coughs> uh, if I can stop at the garage, that would be perfect, because I don't really go into the services, I just need to stop for a wee. Oh, that feeling, you know, when you've been holding it for about 25 minutes and you're just like, oh, you're gonna explode. I hope there's toilets in here. <laughs> So, just got myself a large coffee. I don't usually buy, I have a rule of thumb, I don't usually buy coffees when I'm out because I find the prices of them offensive, but needs must. Yeah, I don't think, I think caffeine is definitely in need today. Right, let's get out of here. We've got an hour left until we are at said job. Oh, just feel wrecked. I don't know if you've felt like this. Like I've not, not had any drink last night, but I, I literally woke up this morning like feeling like I had a hangover. Like, my head was pounding, dehydrated. Um, yeah, I don't really drink in general. So, it's like, what? <laughs> hey ho, enough moaning. Crack on, eh? Let's go. Right guys, so we are approaching our job now. Apparently we are 2.3 miles away. Not too sure exactly where this place is, like I said to you before. Uh, nice little area. Uh, just hoping that the sat nav is taking me sort of, you know, there rather than there or about, because we know how sat navs love to do that to us sometimes. Down, it's in a place called Wimborne. It's near Pole, between Bournemouth uh, and Pole, somewhere. Uh, just follow the sat nav. Side. Sure, so. 
farm. Uh, is it in here? This looks tight. I don't think I want to get in now. Am I? I mean, that is going to be tight. There it is. Lorry's down now. Let's have a look. Oh, just make it. There's someone to turn around. Hmm. Oh, I got a feeling. Morning. I'm guessing this is for you guys. Morning. Morning. How we doing? Where do you want me? What do you want me to do? Just bring it there, that's fine. Alright, okay. Just bring the back end up here, so that's fine. Then we have to do that. Lovely, cheers. Okay, that's going to be fun. Alright, that's uh. Oh, great, I'm looking forward to getting out of there. This is going to be a right fucking treat. <laughs> I mean. Oh. Better get me A game on then I wanna leave. Right, I'll uh, I'll catch up with you guys in a second though, I guess in that case it will be when we're leaving or I don't know. I'll let you know what the story is. Right, so this is gonna be fun. Let's try and get out of here now. Let's see that one. see it. There's going to be a lot of shuffling. A little bit more? I don't down on this side
the over, you should get round. So I should clear that pallet. Literally millimetres. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Perfect, cheers mate. See you later. Wow. That was interesting. <laughs> uh, you got a lovely little farm deliveries. Well, I asked my planner for something different today and he had provided. He had provided for sure. I have to stop when we get to the end here. Sort the swat nav out. Check. Right, let's sort the sat nav out quickly, get it more refreshed. 20 past 12, I'll take that all day then. Let's go. So this is going to be fun because it's a busy road and I've got to wait for both sides to be clear because it's quick to, to miss that van. There you go. There we go. Lovely job, boy. Let's get out of here. Onward bound. Right, in a minute guys, uh, once I've sorted out my bearings, um, I'll take you back on and yeah, I'm gonna share with you guys something that's happening to me very soon in the near future. I'll catch you in a bit. Don't go anywhere, you won't wanna miss this. Right, so we've got a little bit of a situation at the moment. <laughs> um, I was on my way back and I got a phone call from one of my buddies and he told me that the M25 south, south of the M25 near Clackett Lane, basically the way that I need to go home, they've shut the road and it doesn't look like it's gonna open according to the highways website until about two o'clock. It is now 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the situation. <laughs> you can see that down the bottom there, just there. It's literally shut all the way along from Junction 6 all the way into the M20. Yay. So I'm gonna have to follow it all the way up and round and then there's loads of traffic around here as well. Um, might be all right to be fair but it's telling me to go into London and come down on the A13 but I think I'll probably just stick to that uh, yeah these are the things you have to sort of prepare for uh, I just stopped in Winchester services at the moment I'm gonna have some lunch even though it's 10 o'clock because uh, I'm actually starving I've been up since one um, yeah and then uh, we'll, we'll make our way and hopefully it won't be as bad as I'm anticipating. 
it's funny because I've been shunting for the past two weeks really I've not really done much work out on the road and I've uh, been dying to get out on the road and then the one day I do get back out on the road but he shut the M25 you can imagine the carnage that's going to cause oh well it is what it is it's one of the things you have to uh, expect when you're a HGV driver I suppose so I'll catch you guys in a minute after I've eaten my uh, spaghetti and meatballs oh don't turn off engine I need you for my microwave. Right, I'll catch you in a bit. Bon appetit. Spaghetti and meatballs with a view of the garage. <laughs> right guys, so we have made it back to the yard. Got my box on for tomorrow. We're off to Northampton tomorrow, so a bit of a boring one. But it is what it is. And so basically uh, the big news what's the big news well is basically I may or may not be moving to Australia that's right so we are currently in the process of looking at getting visas to move down under Western Australia so yeah Things are moving pretty fast. With my partner being a teacher, it's looking very likely that it will happen. But I'm gonna leave it at that for now. And if you wanna find out more, then come along to the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next video.